all right welcome back to another video on advanced laravel and view series and in the previous video i have shown you that there is one issue on our login page which is related to design so in this video i will show you how we can fix this and the next thing is uh, in our app.view which is the root component we have some sections like navigation sections sidebar section and in this video i will show you how we can extract these things into its own sub components so now let's get started first of all let's start with this login page issue so when someone visit this login page then we are displaying this view so let me show you how this works and if i go to fortify service provider which is inside of app providers and here we are mentioning that for the login view we need to use this blade file which is inside of auth login dot blade dot psp so let me go to auth login dot blade dot psp and when someone visit this path we are displaying this view right so let me clear this to show you and now this is empty let me do ctrl z and here we don't need this router view as well so let me remove it and the issue is created by this div with the id of app so let me show you that if i go to app.js file over here while creating the app we are passing the root component and we are mounting our app to the element with the id of app right so while creating the app we were using the root components so our root component is wrapping our uh, login component right so for this space we don't need this root component so let me show how we can fix this let me go to login.blade.psv and let me change this id to login okay and then let me go to app.js and over here let's add the conditional so here let's say if you are on the login page so we can do window.location. Path name equals slash login. So if we are on the login page, then let's create the app using current app, create app, and let's pass nothing over here. So previously, while creating the app, we are passing the root component, but over here we are not passing anything, right? And on our main app, we are registering the component called login. So let's register that on this current app. So let's do current app dot component login 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 so let me remove it and finally let's mount this current app to the element with the id of login and inside the else block let's put this code so here what we are saying is if you are on the login page then we want to create a new app instance without passing the root component and we are registering our login component as well for this current app and we are mounting that current app to the element with the id of login right so on our login.blade.psp we are creating that element with the id of login and for this app instance we are not passing root component so it will simply display this login component right and else if we are not on the login page then we are mounting the normal app to the element with the id of app right so let me refresh this and this is working and we don't see any error on our console as well this is perfect now let me click on sign in and we are back to our dashboard page so our login page issue is fixed so now let's move on to another one which is creating sub components so let me go to app.view file and over here we have this navigation section so let me cut this code from here and we'll be creating the component called app navbar so let's create this component inside of resources CS components app napper dot view. Let me create the template section and paste that code. And in our app dot view, we need to import this. So let's import that. Import app number from components app number, and this is displaying it right. But if I remove that component from here. Then that navbar is gone. Now let's do the same for sidebar, but for sidebar we have sidebar left as well as sidebar right over here. So let me give it a name called sidebar left for this section. Sidebar left instead of components. Sidebar left dot view. Let me create template section and paste that code. Let's import that as well. Let me change this to sidebar left and we have this but we don't see the user image name as well as app name right 
but we'll be fixing that later but let's extract other code into its own component now so let me extract first of all let's remove this commented code and now let's extract this sidebar which is sidebar right into its own component so let me give it a name called sidebar right let's create that sidebar right let's create template section and paste that code and make sure to import it sidebar right okay and this is working finally let's extract footer as well so over here we have the footer let's extract this into app footer and let's create that component and instead of template tag let's paste that in and finally we need to import that app footer as well okay and everything is working but we don't see the app name on our footer as well so now let me show you how we can use props to pass those values inside of these components right so if i go to sidebar left we are using user dot avatar over here as well as settings value right so we need to pass settings as well as user uh, to this component so to pass that let me go to app dot view file and we have user as well as settings so we can pass these values as props so let's do user is user and then settings is settings and inside our sidebar left component we need to define those props so let's add a script setup section and let's define the props that we are receiving and one is user which is of type object and another is settings which is also of type object now inside of template we will have this access to the props so now if i come over here we see this app name as well as this profile picture and the user name let's do the same on footer as well let me go to app footer.view we need settings for this component so let me add a script section and this component will receive the props so we need to define it define props and it will receive settings as object now let's pass that from our app.view on our footer let's pass settings and if i come over here we see this app name as well so let me align this properly and finally our root component is looking much more cleaner and simple and if you want to change anything on navbar then we can simply go to this component if you want to change anything on sidebar we can go to this component and similarly we can do the same for footer as well as right sidebar right all right this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one